Alright guys, so here's the review of the Pagani Design PD1708. But before we get down into this review, quickly going to mention who the winner is of the Redune R3. So I'll pop that up on screen now. If you want to get in contact with me, use the email address on the about page of the YouTube channel, or you can contact me on Instagram, and we'll get that watch sent out to you. So I won't go over the packaging, because this is the standard Pagani Design packaging. We'll get right down to it. So starting with the diameter, we've got 38mm, then we've got a thickness of 114 Lug width of 20, and then the all important lug to lug is coming in at 46.1. In terms of weight, we've got 104 grams on this mesh strap. So, pretty nice dimensions overall. So, seeing as we're talking about it, I'll show you that mesh strap so you can see what it's like. It is actually quite a nice one. And you can see we've also got quick release, which is always handy. So, if you do want to swap it out for something else, you can do. And then we've got the branding on the clasp as well, just the logo. So overall, quite a nice strap to go with this watch, I think. But now let's take a look at the dial in a bit more detail. So you can see we've got a fully printed dial here, nothing applied. And then in terms of text on there, we've got that Pagani design written just below the logo. Personally, I would have preferred to have just the logo and not the text. And then we've just got the chronograph written at the bottom. And then it's just the two sub dials. So the one on the left, is the 60 minute timer. And then the one on the right, that is the 24 hour, which isn't really my favorite, a little bit redundant. You don't really need it, but it is what it is, I guess. I do like that we've got the white hands though, contrasting against that black dial. So it helps them stand out a bit. And obviously they've got lumen as well. So we'll be checking out the lumen a little bit later on. In terms of length on them, they are nicely proportioned too. So no issues there which isn't always the case with AliExpress watches, so it is good to see. And then the only other text we've got on the dial is right at the bottom below that six, we've got Japan movement, and that's because the movement in this is a VK64. So let's get a zoom out now and talk about the rest of the watch. So you can see we've got the signed crown there, and then the pushers aren't signed at all, they're just sterile. And then we've got a pretty nice case shape on this, nice curved, well, sloped lugs. When it comes to the finishing, it's fully brushed, apart from a couple of little polished details around the bezel, and also on the bottom of the case as well. You can also see as well, we've got an ever so slight curve to that crystal, it's not completely flat, so we'll be checking that in a minute if that is sapphire. Before we do, let's check out the case back. So we've got the usual kind of specs around the outside on there, so we've got the water resistance, which is 100 meters, and then the fact that we've got stainless steel, and obviously then the model number and a few other bits and pieces. It's the usual stuff, and it is a screw down case back as well. But now, let's check out if we've actually got Sapphire Crystal on this. Using the trusty Diamond Selector 2. And, yep, we have got Sapphire Crystal. So, it's always good to see. Especially at this kind of price point. It's not always a given. So, it is nice that it is there. So now, let's check out what the loom's like on this. So you can see we've got a little bit there already, but let's charge it up, give it a proper chance. And there we go. So as you can see, we've got C3. So because there's no applied indices, obviously it's not going to be the best loom. The dial especially does fade fairly quickly. The hands obviously are better because there's more space to actually apply loom. So when it comes to the hands, they last a decent amount of time. But again, with it being Pagani design, that is still kind of their Achilles heel. They just need to up it a bit. But I do like the way the loom kind of bounces off the inside of the crystal. So you can see it around the edge because it's got that ever so slight curve to it. Just adds a little bit of interest when it is lit up at night. But you can probably see now already the loom on the dial is fading pretty quickly. But as I say, the hands last an okay amount of time. Again, kind of on par with a lot of other Pagani design watches, so not great. They actually have another version of this watch, which has a slightly different dial colour. It's got a more of a fotine, a kind of yellow colour to it. So I'm guessing the loom on that one will probably be slightly worse than this, which is part of the reason I went for the white over the more fotine, a yellow kind of colour. 
in the hope that the loom might have been a bit better. But as I say, it's kind of on par for a lot of the Pagani designs. So I suspect the other one might be slightly worse again. So now let's show you what the movements are like on this. So we've got screw down crown, so we'll unscrew that quickly. And then if we pop it out, we have actually got a ghost state position. So you need to pop it out again, and then we can adjust the time. That all works well enough, as you'd expect. The Seiko VK movements are always really reliable. Pop it back in, screw it back down, no issues at all. And then we've got the pushes, obviously, for the chrono function. So press the top one. And then you can see we've got that kind of smooth looking sweep of the chrono hand. Press it again to stop it. Press the bottom one, and then it snaps back. Again, all working well, no issues at all. So now, all that's left to do is show you what it's like on wrist, and then we'll wrap this up. So, here's what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. And I think it does wear really nicely. I do particularly like this bracelet as well. It's really easy to get the perfect fit with it, because it's pretty much infinitely adjustable. So, I do appreciate that. And as I say, I think it suits the watch quite well too. In terms of the actual case, you can see we've got those nice sloped lugs, so it helps conform to rest along with that 38mm diameter as well. So, it does wear really nicely. When it comes to issues with this one, I've only really got a couple. So, I could do with a bit more AR, because you can see it's quite reflective. I'm not sure if it's actually got any. If it has, definitely needs a bit more. Other than that, applied indices would be nice, so you could get better loom as well. Because the loom isn't great, but again, you'd expect it, because it is only a printed dial. But, given the price of the watch, I don't think they're deal breakers necessarily. So if you are interested in picking one up, link will be down in the description as always. That is an affiliate link, so it will help support the channel, but you don't pay any extra. But, that's it for this one guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.